Scott, Carlson Motorsports. We're dialing in these last few changes on the UTVs. Anna goes right around the corner. We're finalizing our last few bits of testing. Fox Shocks is here. We're dialing in shocks. Stick around, check out these new cars. Got a lot of cool improvements. And uh, yeah, it's good to get them on track and uh, see what they can do. This is the RS1000cc non-turbo. Which is different than the other cars. Narrower and obviously non-turbo. Other than that, they're both the same, engines, bolts in the same, transmission bolts in the same. You know, everything on it's pretty much the same as the turbo car, just built a little different, a little narrower. Race, what do you got going on? Mountain dashes, and then also doing the aim uh, data screen also. So. This one's hidden, but it has to be in the car, so I'm uh, plasma cut out a nice mount out. And then I just uh, threw the AIM data logger one in just a little bit ago. Is this the new one right here? Yep. I'm Jeremy from Speedworks. Um, I help with the calibrating the clutches and the tuning on the side-by-sides and anything else they need help with. Um, analyzing data, things like that. I've known the Carlsons for, oh crap, quite a long time since Andrew was a little guy. Um, and through snowcross racing stuff, we've known where their family was and we've worked with them in the past and that stuff. Last year I came on to start helping out with the UTV program and yeah, we're having a blast. It's fun. But I will make sure we have snacks, drinks ready in the semi, and that we're registered for each race, and that we have tickets, and make sure everyone can get in when they need to. Do you leave any work for anybody else to do around here? <laughs> I do. I don't touch the vehicles. Um, that is not my strong suit. I just like to get things done, and I kind of don't trust anyone else to do it, so I'm always like, I'll just do it, and I can do it fast and get it done. Taking care of Andrew, five kids, four kids. <laughs> right. Hopefully five one day. Andrew's like four is good. I'm like, yeah. I don't limit race cars, so. What are you looking for in this graph? They're just reviewing data from the last run, some of the changes we made, looking at RPM. There's a lot of data on here, looking at all, looking at boosts, intake temp, stuff like that. Just analyzing it, making sure everything's behaving and doing what it's supposed to do. We have a definite process when we're testing. I would say the main thing we always focus on is only changing one thing at a time. Um, and just documenting all our changes really well. Um, that way, when I'm out there driving, I really only have one thing I'm trying to focus on and feel out in the car. Um, because between that and track changes and you know, how much water is on the track and um, all the different variable things, how you're driving the car, the changes you're making are gonna behave differently every time. So we're just basically trying to eliminate as many variables as we can and get repeatable results. Um, so a lot of times we'll do you know, back-to-back -back tests, like we'll, we'll pull in and change the test, change the, the thing very quickly, and then go right back out immediately and, and go another three laps or something. Um, so a lot of it's just documenting what we're doing and then um, having the same, you know, three laps that we run every time to test it. And then when I'm doing those things, it's not really a said thing, but it's like the thing I'm doing in my head is making sure I'm driving it the same 
and you know up until that point you got to make sure you're at full speed and 100 percent comfortable otherwise you're not really testing you're just out there spinning laps so making sure what i'm doing is 100 percent repeatable and then from that point on it's just yeah small tweaks here and there um and usually we don't take huge swings at things and go you know a massive swing in one direction it's kind of um once we have our baseline we're just not deviating from that too far and just kind of stepping into it um, but yeah whether it's clutching or suspension um, engine stuff or um, you know whether it's tires or there's a million things that we're testing um, it's usually just one at a time and then uh, yeah just rolling rolling through it so we kind of have a list you know we for sure want to make sure our belt temps are good and we're not gonna blow belts in the race and then we kind of go to suspension and then we kind of go to um, some of the fine-tuned handling pieces balance of the car um, how it's turning you know and then um, so the track today is pretty loose and loamy um, two days ago when we were testing it was super hard packed and blue group and that's all based on how we prep the track here there's certain things we do and like I know there's pro twos out there today testing so I knew the track was going to be more tore up and loose because of those trucks so um, we do that on purpose not make the track the way it is but we test certain things on certain days knowing that we need to get the thing to handle in a wide variety of situations not just oh it's really fast every time it's hard packed then you go to the first race and it's loose and you're screwed so um, yeah in a nutshell that's it all right guys we're wrapped up here at erx uh last test day for the first race thanks for tuning in everything went really well thanks for fox for coming out and uh, Speedworks, everybody that's uh, getting us out here and getting this thing tuned in. Um, yeah, we're excited to go to Anigo. We'll see you there. we got the new merch coming. It'll be at Anigo for sale, probably online shortly after that. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned for uh, Anigo recap videos, all that content. Um, it's coming. Thank you. See you guys. Custom rounds. Look at that. Only the best for the worst scenario.